I love startup paddleboarding. I'm sure everybody already knows that. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you why you need to buy one this summer. Now the most obvious benefit and the one that smacks you in the face is this good exercise. It's a great full body workout, does your upper body, your core and your legs and you can make it as intense or as easy as you want. If you want to power through 20k non-stop then you can do that. If you want to amble on down the river and have a nice relaxing picnic somewhere then again you can do that as well. And of course it's great for your mental health, everyone knows the connection between physical exercise and your mind. Surrounded by nature and look at this. I'll take this over four balls any day of the week. It's also a sport for everyone, no matter your age, your skill level, how good you think you may or may not be. Everyone starts as a beginner. And if you think skill level is the only thing that's stopping you giving it a try, give me a message. I guarantee I can make you stand up on a paddleboard within an hour, easy. There's loads of ways to slowly progress up to standing. You can go on your knees, you can practice by the shore, you can go to small little lakes just to build your confidence up. There's no ends of places offering lessons if you want to get a bit of tuition for it. And if you buy a paddleboard and you never actually stand up on it and you just go everywhere on your knees, it doesn't matter. You can do that as well. Now, I agree that it's not a very cheap thing to get started with. Once you've got your paddleboard, your wetsuit, your waterproof bag, your buoyancy aid, etc., etc., uh, things can add up. But once that initial investment's been made, you've got cheap weekend activities for years and years to come. And like everything, you can spend as much or as little as you want. You can go for something like this, a couple hundred quid, great sort of budget starter board. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check it out. And likewise, you can go the complete opposite end of the scale and spend thousands. I'll put a link to a more expensive sort of premium SUP board in the link below as well. Now I know a couple hundred quid sounds like quite a lot of money, but in reality, it's only a couple of nights out or a few meals out. If you sacrifice a few of those, it wouldn't be long till you have enough money to save up for a paddleboard. And also paddleboarding's gained more and more popularity over the last few years. So I'd be very surprised if you haven't got a friend or a, someone in your network who hasn't owned one already, ask them if you can just borrow it for a weekend or have a little go with them, or just go rent one somewhere before you invest, see if you like it or not. Oh, it's actually turned out really hot today. I don't have any more time to be wearing the winter wetsuit. Feels nice to give my legs a little paddle. Pull me down a bit. Another great thing about the paddleboard is that they're easy to store and transport. Well, the inflatable ones anyway. You literally roll it up into a bag, chuck it in the back of the car, and off you go. Even if you lack storage space at home, you can put them in the shed. I lived in a one bedroom flat at one point and I had two paddleboards and I just kept them in the car full time. That's where they lived. It also gets you out and about in nature and explore places you've never been before. Like the footpath around here is on that side. But what's to stop me going over here and sitting on this tree? Nothing. Oh. Happy days. Okay, admittedly, that's a rubbish one. But if you're on sort of like a lake or something and you want to paddle out to an island, you can't do that on foot. With a paddleboard, you can paddle on out there, have a little look around and paddle on back. Just got to try and relaunch myself off here again now without ending up in the water. There we go. Whoop. Oh, there we go. Lovely jubbly. Oh, just enjoying this nice weather for a minute. But if you're looking to find like a more outdoorsy sort of like adventurous hobby and you live in the UK, Things like surfing, like rock climbing, like hiking around mountains, you're kind of limited. And if you're like me and you live down in Essex where there's no waves, no mountains, you're, you're a little bit stuck. At least with paddleboarding, I reckon everywhere in the UK is no further than like 30 minutes from a river, a canal, a bit of coastline, like a man-made boating lake, a normal lake. I think there's so much access to waterways and bodies of water. Everyone will be able to do it every weekend without taking up too much time traveling there and back. So rounding it up, the accessibility for paddleboarding in the UK was sport for choice. Now, if you're not convinced after all those points and the one thing that's stopping you buying a paddleboard is you haven't got anyone else to do it with or your mates don't want to do it, who actually cares? Who cares? If none of them want to do it, buy one, makes new mates. So there's loads of Facebook groups where you can meet like communities that are into paddleboarding. They organize like free events and trips. You can go out on them or just like me, just go and do it by yourself. It's just as much fun by yourself as it is with like a group. Do your own thing, be the boss of your own time and your own enjoyment and take the plunge. Now, I am gonna take a plunge because 
it's turned out to be a beauty of a day and this rope swing is just too good and too convenient not to have a little swing. Hope you enjoyed that video. I'm gonna go enjoy this rope swing. If that's given you the motivation to go buy a paddleboard finally, go do it, you won't ever regret it. And remember, have fun, stay young. Woo. This tree route literally provides the perfect ladder to get in and out of the river. Thank you, nature. It used to be so much better. You used to be able to get a right good run up down there and jump off here and do a big loop. But now, like, I can barely get it with two hands. And I'm standing on this log. Thank you, ladder.